Hello gamers, welcome back to another video. This is going to be a tutorial video on how to install Simruito Manager which is used to calibrate Simruito load cell pedals and recently they have added handbrake calibration support as well. Before we get into this video, I request all the viewers to subscribe to my channel as 90% of the viewers are not subscribed and your subscription keeps me motivated to make such information filled content. Without any further ado, let's get started. First, I will download the latest software installer file from the link provided by the Simruito store. Soon the file will be hosted on their official website. So here I am using the Google Drive link. I will download the Simruito manager.zip file from the link. Once it is downloaded, then I will go to the download location and extract the file. After extracting it, we can see the Simruito manager folder which have two files. I will start the setup file and it will launch the installer. Windows 10 and Windows 11 will prompt us with this screen. So I will press more information and press run anyways. Then I will just press next and next and then it will install the Simruito manager on this PC. Once it is completed, I will close everything and we can see Simruito manager icon on the desktop. I will use it to launch the application. On the first launch, it will be in Chinese language, which can be changed by pressing English with the press of this button. There was a bug which would crash the application when trying to change the language in Windows 11. It has been fixed in the latest version of the application. So here is the beautiful UI of the application. I pretty much like the way they have arranged it, making it very intuitive and simple to understand. First, let's look at the clutch calibration. On the left side of every section, there is input and DZ bar, which is basically the output bar. Then under limit section, we have the dead zones, which is top dead zone, bottom dead zone and the accuracy of the input. For clutch, I have set very high top dead zone of 15, but will drop it down to 12. And in bottom dead zone, I have set it to 2 as I want that much to rest my feet on the pedal and have no effect in the game. There are multiple preset options, but for clutch, I am using a custom preset according to the spring tightness I have set on the pedals. Same is for the brake where top dead zone is mostly defined by the maximum force measured in kgs. By default it was set to 60 kg which is too much for me and my weak rig. Then I tried 45 kgs and that was too soft for me. So I have settled with 50 kgs of maximum load on brake. I have not made any preset adjustment for brake. Next let's look at the throttle here. I have set top dead zone to 2 and bottom dead zone to 5 as it is very sensitive when I rest my feet on the throttle pedal. For accuracy level, I have set it to 25 for all three pedals, but the default is 20. Now that I have set everything according to my preference, I will press save config to device, which will save all the settings to the device firmware. So please don't forget to save the settings before closing the application. They have recently added handbrake setting in the same application. But as I don't have the handbrake, I cannot show you much about it. But here is the quick view of all the config options available for their handbrake. That's it for this video. I hope this video was informative and helpful to you. If it helped you in any way, then please do like and share this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to know more about sim racing equipments and their settings in Windows as well as on Linux operating system. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.